Hello everyone. So, I uploaded a video about three years ago on how to change the oil on a John Deere LT160. And one of the most common questions I get is what happens if this drain plug right here is stuck, this black cap? I have personally never had that happen to me. But I suppose if it did happen, you could take like a little screwdriver and kind of work around it. You want to try not to damage it because it is just plastic. Another question, what happens if that oil filter gets stuck? Well, I had that happen to me and a pair of channel locks was my best friend. <laughs> Most of the time, if you put a towel on it, it'll just screw right off. But sometimes it won't. If that happens, you're just going to have to kind of mangle it to get it off of there. Um, if you got an oil wrench that actually fits this, you can do that. But I haven't picked one up because never really thought about it because like i said you change it once a year and you don't really worry about it then but yeah that's how you do it um the rest of this video i'm just going to kind of just go through the steps and how to change it all right so take the plug off there's a little notch right there and what you do is you turn it and then it should pull off and i've already drained the oil off and i made a mess so try not to make a mess like I did, <laughs> but the oil will fall out and then hopefully it'll land in your bucket, not all over the ground. If it happens, it happens. Nothing you can do about it. Now for the oil filter, it should just come right off too, maybe. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I just usually take a towel. Should be on there hand tight. Oh my Lord. Or if you got a wrench, that makes it a lot easier too. Holy moly, it's coming. Ugh. Ugh. Now, unfortunately, there's not really a good way to drain this. It's going to get all over the place as long as you get your bucket kind of halfway underneath there. And this is oil filters facing up and down. So, of course, naturally, it's going to run everywhere. So then... I hope. And there we go. And then I just drop it in my bucket. And that's what it looks like. So to put the drain plug back on, so I did is I wiped it off the best I could. And if you got a bad O-ring, you can always get another one. This one was just in my toolbox. It should fit on there. It's basically the same size, but this is a good O-ring. It wasn't leaking anyway. So put it on. Same way you take it off. You just line the holes up. And also make sure you let enough uh, oil drain out. And then you twist it. And it's back on there. So you just and twist it. Just like that. Now for the oil filter, to do it, this is the filter number right here. This is what it looks like, brand new filter. Now what you want to do is you want to wipe all that oil out of there. However, you don't want to put the oil filter on with the dry gasket. You actually want to dampen that with a little bit of oil. So after you put a little bit of oil on there, it should look like that. You kind of got a glaze to it. So now you can just twist it on. It should just screw on. So what I usually do is hand tight, as tight as you can get with your hand, and then just take a towel or something and get just a little bit more. Like I said, the gasket's actually what seals it. It isn't so much it being tight to the... I mean, you don't want it loose, of course, but at the same time, you don't want to have to... It doesn't need to be cranked down. Grab my towel over here. Let's grab it. I'm going to try to twist it as much as I can. Okay. Alright, so that should be good. So that's all there is to it. Now to refill it, it takes two quarts. This is what I this is what this is right here on the top of your mower. You just get a funnel, stick it down in there, and then fill her up with two quarts of oil. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found hope you found the video helpful. I'll catch you in the next one.